I know I was talking to coach the other day and he said we talked about the Siena game and he said you guys are lacking the killer instinct and that this game would show him whether you guys are pretenders or pretend or contenders or pretenders. Do you think you kind of put that to bed now with this game? Yeah, um, after that after that loss so at, at Siena just for a week we felt like we had to bounce back in practice and get ready for a long a long weekend which includes St. Peter's and Loyola on Sunday and I think um, we tried to limit Jenkins' touches today and uh, our plan was to just uh, play out in play play basketball, push the ball in transition, and get and get easy shots as much as you can. Rob, for you, is a little personal, you know, going against Wesley? Yeah, yeah, it's always personal, you know, being that it's my cousin, his family, and, uh, you know, bragging rights for me, always home. We talk about what he scored or what I scored, so it's a little personal. Okay. Talk about the defense in the second half. You know, for, like, the first ten minutes, you guys held them to three points. Then they, they got on a little roll, but by then you guys pretty much put a big cushion up there. Um, coach has been emphasizing defense all through practice. And the players and the coaching staff, we all want to play defense. And we want to get back to the way we was playing defense last year. So we're trying to put in coaches defense with our defense, and we're just trying to play defense. So defense wins championships. Mike, you seem to, especially first half, kind of having your way on the inside there. Was that the game plan to start the game like that, just popping up? Uh, yes. Yeah, basically. Yeah, basically <laughs> the right practice, we've been, we've been uh, going over just getting inside, starting off inside, then outside. The threes are going to be there all the time. We want to just start feeding our big men and open up our shots. All right, you had a couple of big shots there in the second half that you guys started getting distance. That yeah. uh, for your first three gave you like a five point lead, which at the time was a big lead. And I think your second game you guys ten point lead. That's when you start falling away. Yeah, well, my team they just found me open, and I just had the confidence to shoot. That's what coach been telling us. You're open, just had the confidence in yourself to knock it down. That's what I did. Okay, quick turnaround. You got a uh, Loyola Sunday here. Um, Momentum right from this game, keep the good feeling going. Coach said we got to keep our consistency. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. We've told that they're long and athletic, but we can't sleep on anybody because on any given day, anybody can come in and, yeah. and anybody can beat them. So we just can't sleep on anybody. Okay. Any questions? Yeah, yeah. we'll start to show you whether yeah. you guys are contenders or pretenders. Yeah. Are you satisfied that you guys have taken the necessary step from Yeah, you know, I thought in mean, steps of just toughness alone, mm -hmm. I thought we battled with a team that's known for their toughness. Mm -hmm. And that was something I wanted to see because I didn't think we did that at the Siena game as much as we needed to. So I kind of wanted to see is it us against better competition? How are we going to do in those games? And tonight our kids showed me a lot defensively. Okay. Especially second half. Second half, they did a great job. Yeah. Tim, who does Glover remind you of as a player? I don't know, give me a hint on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Adrian. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Jeff Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not big into who people remind me of. Either I like a player for what they do, and I look at areas they can all improve, and you know, he's got a large window to improve. You know, okay. I think he's a really good player, but I want to get him a lot better. Coach, third game in a row, he started Dwight. Yeah. We played a great game, not just on the offensive end. We put him um, on his cousin, actually, in the second half, and we did a great job shutting him down from you know, getting him going at all. You know, he scored on him in the second half. A couple of the big shots in the second half that you guys started. He called glass on that one. Yeah, did he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I heard it. I heard it from the bench. What did you think of Armand's performance? Sean did a really nice job for a freshman in a game like that. Um, came and made some shots and made some defensive mistakes, but didn't let, like, being corrected affect his offensive end of the game. He still kept his focus. I mean, earlier in the year, I think he would have been flustered by it and not responded as well, and I think he's grown up a little bit. First half was up and down. Are you happy with I don't know, his defense for 40 minutes yet? No, this year? no. I mean, first half, uh, we started the game with breakdowns. We had three or four breakdowns in the first three or four possessions from them out of what we had worked on, and obviously that's frustrating when we all know, including the players, what we had worked on. You want to make them make shots, even though we're, you know, through our execution, not let their plays beat you. And their plays beat us early. In the end, they had to make plays individually, because I think we took their sets away a little bit tonight. A quick turnaround now. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, so we'll see how we respond to that. Okay. Thanks, guys.